guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Glenda of Style with Glenda K. Harrison, the community that's all about you becoming the master of your true style. For true style, a look beyond the surface, I uncovered a very important revelation. Here it is. True style is living an integrated life. It's when all aspects of yourself, soul, mind, body, and of course wardrobe are in harmony. So even though my background is in fashion, in this community, all of these important elements are brought to the table. So for this video, I'm focusing on the body. Stay tuned. So butterflies, I've called this video, Don't Give Up, Stay in Control of Your Body. And I've decided to break the video up into three sections. Everything that I say, I want you to see how it can translate into your own life and lifestyle. So the first section is the challenges that I've faced. And I've faced many challenges, but I always had it in my mind that I was going to get back into taking care of myself. So the first challenge that I want to talk about is when I was pregnant with my firstborn, I had to have him on bed rest because I had a um, incompetent cervix. So my second and third trimester, I had to remain laying down the whole time until it was time for me to safely deliver him. So I wasn't able to exercise during that pregnancy at all. After I gave birth, I weighed about 200 pounds. Now I'm only five foot one and I'm a petite woman. So for me to carry that amount of pounds was a lot for me. So I immediately, when it was safe for me to exercise again, I got right back into it. I started exercising and I didn't go to the gym, but I collected um, a video series called The Firm and I exercised religiously to The Firm every morning before my baby woke up and before the day got going. I just got up and I exercised. And believe me, there were times when it was tough because I had a newborn baby and some he wouldn't sleep through the night, but I had it in my mind that I was going to take care of my body. And that's exactly what I did. Now, later in life, after I had my second child, I started having um, rapid heartbeats, rapid, and I just went to the doctor. I kept going to the doctor. They said that um, I was having panic attacks and it was all sorts of things. And, and then finally, I finally got to the right doctor and they told me what I was experiencing was called supraventricular tachycardia. And what it is, is my heart would just speed up without any warning and it would speed up so rapidly that sometimes I would faint. And so I finally um, said, I'm not gonna work out. I'm, I'm, I can't do this. I'm afraid this is gonna happen to me and you know, whatever. I just didn't wanna work out anymore. But then I felt myself just becoming down and I didn't wanna feel down. I didn't wanna feel depressed. So I said, I'm gonna get back into the game. I started working out again, working out at home, and I just felt fantastic. I still had the episodes with the tachycardia from time to time, but I didn't keep, keep it from um, making me not work out. Now, then later on in life, I had another challenge that was trying to take me out of my you know, mojo. And that was, I discovered a mole on my leg. So I went to the doctor and I had to have it diagnosed. So I had to have surgery on my leg. So they said, well, you can't work out for about two months. We have to let it heal. We have to let the stitches heal. And so I was just like, 
what do you mean I can't work out? You know, because by, by then I was just like exercising and I had a gym membership and I was just really, really active in the gym. And so I had to stop it so I could let my leg heal. And it was just, by this time, it was just like the worst thing that you could tell me. But I let it heal and then I got right back into it. I got right back into it. And I just want to encourage you that if you find that you get out there to the gym or you walk or you swim or you do it and then you stop for whatever reason and then you, you have trouble getting back into it, that is natural for a lot of people. And I, I just don't want you to say, well, I guess I'm not meant for exercise and I'm not going to do it. Please don't do that because there are so many benefits to exercising. For me, it's not just about being a particular size or weight or whatever. It has a lot to do with much more. So I want to tell you about the mind-body connection on this next section tell you there is no connection between the mind and the body, I will attest that there is definitely a connection. I wrote my first book and my second book with that theory in mind. And what I did was every morning I woke up because to write a book can be a daunting task. You really need to have your mind clear to get your thoughts out of your head and onto paper. So what I did to keep that clear mind and to be open and to be able to write my books was I exercised every time, every time I knew I was going to write. So basically five times a week, I got up in the morning and I exercised. After I exercised, I had unbelievable clarity and I was able to just literally pour what was in my head out onto paper. So that for me was not only therapeutic, it was a physical, you know, it just made me feel fantastic physically. And it allowed me to write two books to this very day. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I get moving. And that could be either I'm going to take a walk around my neighborhood, I'm going to go for a swim, I'm going to go to the gym and work out with my son, I'm going to do aerobics in my bedroom, I'm going to do yoga on my patio, I'm going to do something to get myself moving. Because oftentimes you may have a bad day or something happens that just throws you off. And often we will eat, we will shop, we will um, have a pity party, we'll do something that's not productive. I encourage you ladies that when something happens that is just irritates you to no end. Instead of doing those alternate threes, do something that is physical. Hey, even sex makes you feel fantastic. So yeah, getting physical, the mind-body connection is unbelievable. And I encourage you to put that into practice. I born son has grown up to become a, a lover of physical fitness, of bodybuilding, of exercising. So he's not only my exercise buddy, he's also my coach. So for the longest, I just exercised at home and I still do. I have two days where I go to the gym with my son and then three days when I work out at home. The two days when I go to the gym with my son are the days where I actually lift weights. And I know 
a lot of us women, we don't want to lift weights because we don't want to get bulky or, you know, whatever the reason is. Or for myself, I kind of, in the beginning, shied away from lifting weights in the gym because there were usually no other females there. So it would just be little old me over there with a bunch of big men. And a lot of times it still is that way. There are times when my son and I will go to the gym and I am literally the only woman in the weightlifting section. All the other women are either in the aerobics pool or they're taking some type of class. Um, I don't take the classes at the gym because I use my home workouts for doing HIIT and cardio, yoga, those types of things. So when I'm at the gym, that is my time to lift weights. And when I say lift weights, I lift weights. I use the free weights. I don't really use the machines, the things that kind of simulate weightlifting. I actually use the free weight dumbbells. And I want to encourage you ladies that if you shy away from that, please don't. I have been lifting weights now for roughly, I would say the hardcore, like lifting weights, like, you know, 70, you know, those types of 70 pounds for about three or three to four years with my son. And um, it's an amazing experience because like, you know, most women, when I first started out, I was lifting like the five pound and the 10 pound dumbbells. Now, when I do bicep curls, I can do 25 pounds per hand, 30 pounds per hand, sometimes 35, but 35 is maybe one rep. But I increase the weights as I can because that's my goal. I don't want to just lift 10 pounds. I want to keep growing. Um, I do want to have definition. I do want to have, you know, cuts in my arm, the shape, the muscle in my legs. When I say cuts, I mean, you know, the definition of the um, muscles. I do want that for myself. So I do increase the weights. Um, as far as being in the room with men, that doesn't really bother me anymore. As a matter of fact, it's kind of cool because a lot of these guys that are in the gym are 30-ish. And here I am in my 50s and I'm, you know, like, yeah, yeah. And my son will have to spot me at some times. And I see the guys looking and sometimes they're like, all right, that's cool or whatever. They cheer me on. And I think it's a fantastic thing. Um, the weights also at this stage in our lives um, is very important because we are losing you know, our, the muscles, we're starting to, everything is going in a downward fashion and the muscles keep us toned and also the, um, the muscles help us burn fat more easily. So, um, the weight training is extremely important for me and I hope that you guys will also give it a chance, give it a go. If you have access to weights in your home, that's great. If not, consider joining a gym and hitting the weights over there with all those guys. Now, the other thing that I want to say is um, I'm not a big eater. And my son and I had been trying different um, programs for me that would help me um, do better with my um, my diet or whatever um, I was he had me doing three meals a day and that was tough I cannot eat that much food I cannot get up and eat breakfast and then eat lunch and then eat dinner I just 
could not do it. So he did some research on the intermittent fasting. And that's what I've been doing recently. It has been working great for me. So the way that works for me is that I, my first meal of the day is around noon. And then I eat again my dinner time, which is around five, six. And then I don't eat again until the next day at around noon. Now, for some people, you're probably thinking, don't you get a headache? Don't you feel sick or whatever? I don't get any headaches. Um, I, I drink, as you've been seeing, you've been seeing me drink tea. I drink unsweetened tea. I drink water. And I feel fantastic. Now, there was a time where I kept craving sweets. And I fell off the wagon and I kept like, you know, sneaking sweets and whatever. But now I'm back on track to just doing the unsweetened teas and drinking the water. My first meal of the day around noon, my second meal of the day around six o'clock in the evening. And that works great for me because I don't feel so full and sluggish. So, um, you have to find a eating pattern that will work for you. So um, I would recommend if you don't have access to a health expert, then to maybe see a dietitian or something like that, or reach out to someone on um, social media who you know is in the business of health and fitness and, and ask them different ways to exercise or to eat, I should say. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is um, when I broke my knee. Remember I told you that I, in the challenges that I broke my knee? Well, I have always, ever since then, have always had problems with that knee, but not to the point where I just couldn't exercise. Now, every once in a while, it felt weak or whatever, um, so I concentrate a lot on building up my thighs, the muscles around the knee so that when I'm doing, you know, deadlifts or squats or whatever, that I can still do it without, you know, collapsing that knee or leg collapsing. Um, also, um, we moved into a two story house and so our bedroom is now on the second floor. And so climbing the stairs was beginning to agitate that knee. So I did some research um, and started reading about collagen. Now, let me say that this video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing a product that I use and it is really working for me. So I was having problems with my knee at the gym climbing the stairs, and also I had dislocated my right wrist about five years ago. So on occasion, when I would lift weights, it would ache. So I did the research and I found out that people were taking collagen. And so I did my research and I found a collagen that I want to share with you. This is called Super Collagen. And like I said, this is not a sponsored post. It's just me sharing a product that I'm very happy with. So like I said, I had still had some problems with the knee that I broke after I had my firstborn child. And then I was also experiencing a pain in my wrist when I had dislocated it. And so it had gotten difficult for me to do certain exercises at the gym, like squats or deadlifts, or to sometimes even do like bicep curls because my wrist was aching. And then climbing the steps in our home, it also was um, becoming an issue. So I did my research, did some digging, um, read some health articles and um, even got my son involved in the process and the word collagen just kept popping up. So I read all about collagen and what it does for our body 
And so I found this product and saw that all the reviews on it were great. Not all, but you know, 99.9% .9 of the reviews on this product were great. And so I went looking for it. I found it at Target. Um, it comes in two forms. It comes in powder or it comes in pill. I don't like swallowing pills. For some reason, I feel like I'm gonna choke. So I decided on the powder form. You can add it to your tea, to your juice, to like your oatmeal or whatever, and you do that once a day. And so that's what I've been doing now for about three weeks. The first week of taking it, I noticed that the pain in my knee was gone and my wrist was no longer aching when I would do the free weights. So yeah, I've been taking it for three weeks now and now I can jot up the stairs real fast. I can um, do my squats and my deadlifts without fear of my knee being in great pain. And yeah, lifting those weights. So collagen, I mean, what can I say, right? We've all heard that word before. Um, now it's available for us to just take it and I encourage you, if you are having issues with aches and pains in your muscles and your joints, anything like that, I encourage you to take it. And like I said, it also has the added benefits of helping hair, skin, and nails. So yeah, who doesn't want to have beautiful skin, hair, and nails? So um, yeah, so I want to end this video with just saying that you know, we're all gonna have these challenges in life. We're gonna have these physical things that may prevent us from working out for a short time or our mind just isn't in it for whatever reason we're going through. So as soon as we start going through something, we say, well, I'm not gonna work out anymore. Or, um, you know, we don't have a workout buddy, but we can find someone who will work out with us, right? So there's all sorts of reasons why we say, you know, I'm gonna give up, I'm not gonna work out. But I wanna say again, don't give up. Stay in control of your body. So that's what this video is all about, butterflies. Stay motivated, don't give up, and take control of your bodies. If you like what you heard, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell so you'll get an indication the next time I post. Now, if this video was for you, I hope that you receive it. If you have a friend who you know that is down and they haven't been taking care of their bodies, then I hope that you will send this video to them in love. So until next time, my friends, bye for now.